I was going to college uh, studying philosophy and uh, frankly feeling a little bit over my head. And uh, I went over to visit a friend uh, one afternoon and he said, come on out in the garage, I gotta show you this lathe I just got. And I was so fascinated by this tool and I think what I liked the most was the immediate gratification of how quickly a form happened right there. And I was just taken by it. The next weekend we were at one of the swap meets. I found a $28 craftsman lathe and a handful of chisels and uh, I had a garage I could set it down in. Somebody that showed me some of the basics, a little bit about sharpening a chisel, and I was infatuated. And within a couple of months, uh, it was the Christmas season and we did our first uh, show. I felt I had a way I could communicate uh, through the work. It, it gave me uh, purpose, I was centered, I, I could spend hours and hours out there, there was no time constraints, nobody told me how to do it or why to do it or anything, and uh, just about every aspect of it appealed to me. Also, I could actually make a living without having a job. Bill. Good morning, Alan. How you doing? Uh, I want to thank you for allowing us to come in and see your shop. Oh, my pleasure. Well, if you would, what I'd like you to do for us is to talk about your passion and your love of this material, because that's what you're really known for in a lot of ways. It started off early in the late 60s, and I was really, uh, as you know, fascinated by the color palette. You know, it moves through the purple heart and the the yellow of satinwood and the rosewoods and different ebonies and from my first show watching the way people responded to you know the color of satinwood and the purple heart and that um, I've often talked about it like being uh, at a candy counter and watching people come up and just uh, get excited about all the choices so so I've done this so many times that I pretty much automatically know how far away I need to be and how high up. But this is about the sweep that I like. And one thing that I'm after here is when you look at the vessel, I don't want you to be able to see either end, uh, both ends of the line. One or the other's got to go out of view. Rotate one, 